a band I've been aware of for a while, because it seems like you see their shirts at tons of shows and stuff, but other than that, I honestly couldn't have told you much about them. But my friend Austin, who does their PR, reached out, and he asked if I'd heard the new single yet, and what my thoughts were, so no, I hadn't heard it till yesterday. But it's called Imposing Will, off their upcoming album, Every Bridge Burning, August 30th on Nuclear Blast. Now, before even listening, I read the press release that cited Kurt Ball, who is the producer, who, if you don't know him, he's been in Converge since the beginning, so with me being pretty familiar with their earlier work, I had a fairly decent idea as to what to expect, or so I thought. Let's talk about Converge for a sec though real quick. I'm asking you, what do you consider them? They themselves will tell you they're a hardcore band, but like, if we're being honest here, man, if we're not giving a shit about saying the wrong things and might make us look stupid or something, as is the case all the time in metal, is hardcore not honestly like doom where it's got bands and all these different corners that sound nothing like each other, yet they're still considered hardcore? I talked about this a couple months ago with doom, how like, Vitus sounds nothing like primitive man and that whole thing, and I I really think it's the same thing with hardcore, you know? Converge doesn't sound anything like Blood for Blood, who doesn't sound anything like Ringworm, who doesn't sound anything like Minor Thread or something. I don't know, man. I guess I don't really care, because what does it even matter unless you're trying to be a badass or something, but I'm not about to argue that it might be like that in Grind too. Nonetheless, Nails, Imposing Will. I mean, it's a fucking grind track, man. No doubt about that. And the guitars are pretty into me, and the singer, like, at least on the earlier stuff, because I checked that out too. I started at the beginning with Unsilent Death. But it kind of reminds me of Scott from Agoraphobic Nosebleed. Not as much on Imposing Will, though, because on that, he just sounds way more screamy instead of yelly. Like, he's more all out on this track, and it's coming from the top of the throat. Like, ah! versus, ah! But it smokes, man. And if you're a grind freak that likes more new school stuff, no doubt you'll be excited about this. And I liked it too, I honestly did. It wasn't really like I expected it to be though, because like I said, as soon as I saw Kurt Balu, I was expecting it to be a little more convergy or Isis, that sort of thing. But instead, it's just psychotic, man. Actually, you know who the vocals kind of remind me of now that I think about it? They're like that band Aftershock, like really, really early sort of primitive metalcore. Those guys were fucking awesome, man. I didn't realize it when I met him, but John Denai, who plays in Anthrax now, is one of the founding members. But yeah, so if you like spazzy sort of grindcore that's brash and dark and sounds like it's made by a bunch of really fired up 15-year-old punks, and I mean that in a good way, not like immaturity, but yeah, then this will definitely kick your ass. Now, as usual, I continue to be confused and asked why certain bands are classified the way they are, and nails are no different. Because you go to their Wikipedia, it has them listed as hardcore punk. Now, I know where that's coming from. I absolutely do. However, and this is why I titled this video with, does anybody listen to these guys? If there's anybody out there that's a Nails fan and that's followed them for a while, like, I don't know, do you agree with that? I mean, wouldn't it just be easier to call them Grind? I think so, but I don't know. But this is certainly a case where you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, because like I said, it wasn't anything like what I was expecting. I almost want to say they're one of those bands that's useful when you're in a certain mood. Like, I suppose if you're all ravenous about something, the nails could be soothing. Or maybe if you just want to flush out the demons or something, same case. But there really aren't a ton of opportunities in their catalog to headbang. Not a bad thing, it just depends on what your bag is, so to speak. But at least at the surface, it does appear this band has its loyalists, because I've seen people really talking them up on different forums, and the general feeling in the comments section for the new track seems to be one of, like, great excitement. One of the reasons I think Nails are as successful as they are in their space is because they probably got fans outside of grindcore. Like, maybe people who listen mainly to hardcore say the kind that sounds like Botch or Jesuit or Caven. Yeah, I remember all those bands. In addition to people whose diet's pretty rich with agoraphobic nosebleed and spaz and Charles Bronson and Brutal Truth even, you know? And maybe even mainly death metal, though that could be unlikely, but once again, what the hell do I know? Actually, you know what? Here's a good way to think about them. Imagine nails are a Thanksgiving Day turkey that's made out of grindcore, and you pour the gravy on, and the gravy's a bunch of hardcore of a few different flavors. You don't absolutely drench the turkey in the sauce, but enough goes on to give it, like, you know, yeah, like a, uh, that kind of flavor. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I figured there was no real value for you, the viewer, and trying to stretch out a review for a single song, especially for a band I'd never listened to before the other day, but they're good, man. And consistent, too. Like, there's not a whole lot of fucking around on their albums, like, you know, with any sort of interludes or this and that. It's 
pretty much just straight up loud ass shit with an occasional two step part here and there when it breaks away from the blast beats and fucking A man. So alright dudes, my question remains, do I have any Nails fans watching and how close or far is my summary because I'm interested to know. But okay my friends, fucking A, if you did like this video, cool man, maybe you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you just like hearing somebody bullshit about heavy metal, ah, then shoot that friggin' subscribe button with a goddamn nail gun or something and we'll see you next time on Concrete Spew, but until then, later maniacs.